Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host, LTGM007, and today we're looking at the FAA Multi Arena plugin. So, this is a fantastic free for all plugin which allows you to create multiple arenas, have custom kits, and it has loads of other features. So, first of all, we're going to set up a new arena, have a quick fight with my other account, and then we will look into the config files. So first of all, let's look at the commands. If we do for slash FAA, it will show them. And up here we have the join leave commands, the stats command, so we can check out how many kills, how many deaths we've got, and the KD, etc. How many coins we have, that can be used in the in-game shop to buy different items. And if we do for slash FAA settings, we can check out the GUI and turn on and off settings. So there are a load here, you could turn off the shop if you wanted, jump pads, I enabled this and that will allow us to step on golden jump pads, pressure plates, and go flying in the air, which is pretty cool. And over here we have all of the arenas, which we can edit, but we'll do that later, and the kit. So we can manage different kits, and you can choose which ones you want for certain arenas, it's pretty cool. But apart from that, I think um, that's everything. So yeah, you can change whatever you want in here, and to the right you can change the kill re reward, and the death reward, even though you probably don't want to be rewarding death, let's be honest. So 10 points for a kill, and 0 for death. Cool. Once we've done that, we can do FAA create and an arena name, so we're going to call it server miner. There we go. And once we've done that, we need to do FAA setup and then the arena name, so server miner. Now in here we get this awesome GUI, and it's very easy to use, so up here we have max players 16, and we're going to spam the minus one button until we get to two players, so just me and my other account. Then we have the kit manager, so you need to click on the kits and highlight them, uh, so, so they look enchanted, in order for them to be available in the arena. So let's get all of them apart from the golden one, um, so right click that to get rid of it. And then we are going to go back and we need to set um, a spawn for your players, the safe region, and then the shop. So the shop's going to be down here, obviously, in the same place as this guy. Uh, so click set shop and he will spawn here. Then we can set the hologram if we have holographic displays, but I don't think I've got it installed. And then we're going to set the safe region. So I'm going to come all the way over here, smash this block, and this is going to be pause one for the safe region. And then we're going to fly all the way over here, and this is going to be the second point of the safe region. Finally, we're going to set the spawn point, which is going to be on this green block here, inside the safe region. So set spawn, and people can access the shop here while they're in the arena. So the final thing we need to do is set up a sign. I'm going to stick it here, put FAA on the top line, join on the second line, and the arena name on the third line simple as that and it should change the block behind will go green and it will say either one out of two or zero out of two depending on how many people are there and as my other account is already in the second arena let's join this one so we spawn on the green block we get a chest and here we can choose all of the different kits and we can even go in the shop and buy different things if we had coins but obviously we don't so there are lots of different potions obviously diamond stuff and bows that are enchanted so let's go ahead and choose a powerful kit, let's choose Extreme, and as you can see there are different prices to all of these kits. Um, let's go with this one, and as you can see we don't have the kit yet. We need to step out of the safe zone, so if we go in and out we will obviously get the kit and then get it taken away from us. Um, and if we step on the jump pad we will go flying, there we go. It's pretty cool, maybe we can go outside the arena. <laughs> maybe not, there we go. Anyway, let's give him a whack and kill him, so bang, bang bang that was pretty easy and as you can see it says I have two kills this is my kit this is my rank and I have 10 points now which is cool and <laughs> I've managed to get in here as well which is interesting so we can do FAA leave if we want to leave the game and then we can go do something else so I believe those are all the important commands so you can do the 4 slash FAA add coins uh, a player's name obviously and the amount so if they've donated you could give them coins with their rank or something uh, but that is pretty much everything in game. We are going to head to the config files now. There's quite a few. Uh, we're going to see what we can do in there. So here we are in the SM Picnic control panel, and as you can see, there is quite a few YML files. Now, the ones you want to be messing around with is the kits.yml and the config out in the shop. Uh, you don't need to mess around with the settings, obviously you can do that in the GUI in-game. The stats, that just records your data, and arenas, that records arena data as well. So let's go ahead and start with the kits.yml. Now in here, we have a list of all the kits, 
Uh, you can change various things from items to names to color codes, all of that good stuff. It's pretty straightforward. So we have the prefix of the kit. So you can use color codes using this weird symbol, the price, the menu item, the ID of the menu item, and all of the items that are in the kit. So everything from armor, to weapons with enchantments. So if you do want to create a new kit, the easiest way of doing it is copying and pasting a pre-existing kit. Um, find obviously the smallest one, so let's go with extreme. Copy and paste all of this onto a new line down at the bottom and then just make edits as you wish. Um, so let's go to the bottom and give it a paste in and then change the name to, I don't know, test kit and then go down here, just rename everything as you would, change various enchantments and weapons, and that's pretty much how you do it. The next file we're going to look at is the shop.yml. Obviously in here you can change everything that's in the shop. Um, so this is pretty straightforward. We have all the different potions, the ID of the potion, the metadata, the amount you get, the slot in the GUI that it's in, and the prize, so 35 coins. And up here, um, we have some weapons and whatnot and armor. So if you want to add a new one, same as before, you copy and paste it. This could be I don't know, an iron sword. Um, so make sure you change the name, change the ID to what, 157. I'm not sure what iron sword is, but you know, that's, uh, that's pretty much how you do it. Uh, the metadata is zero, the amount is one, and make sure you change the slot. You don't want to overriding, that's very important. And then up at the top, we have the inventory title and it's filled with 16015, which is red pane glass I think but you could change that to whatever you wanted. The last file I want to go over is the config.yml so we have the prefix of the plugin here, the language which is English, you can set up a MySQL database, you can add bungee cord to this but you don't have to do either of these things and you can block various commands so obviously you don't want people warping and going to spawn when they're playing a game and here, this is pretty useful, so you can disable the sign block. So as you know, when I put the sign down, a block of clay spawned behind it. Um, but you might not want that as it might ruin the aesthetic of the arena. Then we have the jump pad. So the ID of 147 is obviously a golden pressure plate. And how high you go, so 0.5 blocks up and it multiplies by 2 when you step on it. Then at the bottom we have all of the kill streaks. So if you go on a 5 kill streak, you get a reward of 10 and a message in chat. So that is pretty much everything. Obviously, you can configure it, configure it in the config files or in the GUI. And yeah, it's a fantastic plugin. You can check out the download link below. If you want the server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. And if you want to check me out, I'll be in the description as well. So subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.